Hello. I thought I'd make this video today uh, with a piece of Sedalia history. And I have three containers here from the uh, old Tellus Hall Dairy Company that used to operate here and bottle here. And the first one is uh, a five pound bulk cheese container. And these were mainly used to uh, bottle for restaurant or bottle. These were mainly used to uh, by restaurants and institutions. And as you can see here, as it says, five pound bulk, it's a uh, five pound container. And uh, these were, you know, they were not marked on the side with any company logo or anything because they were institutional. And they went to, you know, like restaurants for bulk packs, the schools, uh, any, you know, any big kitchens and stuff like that. And they came in small curd, large curd, and 2%. And there's the uh, famous company Jargo there, always fresher. And that really meant something. It was. Okay, over here we have a small container of uh, cottage cheese, and uh, it's the 12 ounce size. And if you look close on there, you can see a grocery tag back when they priced them from Consumers Market here when they were here in town. And if you flip this up, this is the best in the best shape of all these. You'll see that. Uh, the company logo, and then here's the always fresher. That was their trademark, was always fresher. And this particular carton, uh, this particular carton, these were made to be biodegradable, and they were made of light styrene. And the idea behind that was if you put them in a dump or something, they would, you know, they would chemically decompose in a fast order and as opposed to the, the heavy, heavier rubber cartons like this one or plasticky rubbery as I call them and that's this is like today's cartons but these were made to decompose in a landfill real quick and meet uh, you know they were way ahead of their time and you know and meet environmental standard now here you have a common gable top carton of chocolate milk and these were in the stores and everything. This is before the Echo Packs. That's the taller, thin ones. And uh, they had these in the stores, the schools, uh, both institutional and uh, commercial for the public. And uh, these were all bottled right here in town. And uh, the formula for all this was right here in town. It was all part of a local formula. And uh, they were a good local concern, and uh, it's too bad they're not here right now. But it just uh, there was uh, they were bought by another concern, and uh, that's kind of battered on that side. And uh, I don't know they didn't uh, they didn't hang on to the label or anything very long. So anyway, I'm gonna jump out of here. I just thought I would make this just as a quick video. For historic purposes and I hope maybe 30 years from now somebody can look at this and get something out of it you know I like these documentary videos and things like that so anyway that's all I got on this one so we'll see you soon and keep it between the ditches